Hi, I'm John. I'm a junior from uh, Meadowsville High School. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, called the wedding poem. A haze of purple. An illumination stretches from the corresponding skyline to an ongoing wedding. This hue of lavender settles its perplexing gaze upon the crowd as they wait and watch for the bride and her groom. The woman, one of, oh, sorry. A mother of one and one of laughter, a lioness of perseverance and strength. She waitresses plates, burdens heavier than boulders, appeased by no one, working more than the wind blows just to make her son happy. This woman has endured the world's sucker punches and countered fate's grip. The man, a mountain of past omens and sins, smiling as his past, like ink and water, dilutes and fades away. He was not always in the same spot, was adrift with only one thought, how much is another shot? Shrouded in alcohol-induced thoughts and drunken motives, vision too blurred to perceive and Mind too cloudy to comprehend. Manning up for his mishaps made it a must to not let Magnum, Major, and Malibu manipulate his mannerisms. And finally, the boy. A bundle of happiness and joy for his newly wedded mother. A boy with big dreams and an even bigger heart. He has been longing the day to when he finally sees his mother as happy as she can be, filled with genuine joy. The mountainous man was not the or origin of the young lad, the boy was lost, chasing a shadow of a man who had vanished into the land of Europe and left the boy in a state of insecurity and confusion. He grew up being the man of the house, almost conjoined to his mother at the hip. And once the mountain man had appeared, the boy was startled, scared even. Was this man going to take his mother away from him? Was he going to come into his life just to take advantage of his immaturity and take his spot as the man of the house? The mountain would laugh and smile when he was around the boy and his mother, but would sometimes leave for reasons even his mother wouldn't tell, to not know where he went, and the strangest way kind of concerned the boy. Was he developing a relationship with this man? Before he knew it, with one blink, the boy opened his eyes. The reception had continued. Music chimed into the open atmosphere. Lips could be seen almost morphing together as husband and wife now walk arm in arm. Kids dance while adults drink. Oktoberfest in July, a celebration of souls intertwining together in unison, a double helix of undoubtable happiness and purification. The boy now holds his head higher than a skyscraper and his spirit stronger than steel. For now, he had a father for the first time in his life and would go on to soon no longer being an only child. A family tree can't branch out without the needed nutrients, and now my tree had that one nutrient, love.